So how filthy are your windows? Pardon me? You've been cleaning them every day for a week. They look pretty spotless to me. You don't know that. You're right. I don't really know your windows. It's pretty insensitive of me. Where do you want to go on a date? We, I don't understand. A date. You know, where two people get together and they eat food and consume alcohol in the hopes of forging a human connection. But come on, I just moved in from the faraway place of Calabasas. I need somebody to show me around. Calabasas is like 10 minutes away. <laughs> I, I don't even know you. Gosh, I wonder how we're going to change that. I don't know. Is there a problem? I mean, are you taken? No. Well, then why don't you stop spying on me from behind the window? I am not spying on All you. All right, cleaning your windows and have dinner with me. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Hmm. Traffic was terrible. Uh, next door neighbor humor. I like it. I like you. Thanks. But that isn't necessary. Waking up next to you every morning. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Hmm. <gasps> god, it's 10.30. Oh my god. I don't think it was physically possible for me to sleep this late. Mm. <sighs> Surprise. You can do it. Come back to bed. No, I did. What? I have so much stuff to do. I, I, not all of us can be retired and live a life of leisure. I'll have you know, I've earned that life of leisure. Hmm. Hey, did you know that hmm. I was voted Fireman of the Month? Multiple months. That is not a thing. Uh, oh, oh. Come here. Uh, no, I gotta go. Come on, get just get up, get up. Come, I gotta go to my mom's. I told Ryan I would come over. Didn't you just visit him yesterday? Have his dad drop by. Oh, do you have his number? Because I think I misplaced it uh, 23 years ago. I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry, no, I'm sorry. Shh. Come here. Come here. out tonight. Really? You think I'm pretty enough to take outside? I do. <laughs> I want to go to a movie with, uh, oh, with that Irish actress with a weird name, Cersei. Cersei. C C Ryan. And I want to go for fancy drinks with silly ingredients like cardamom and, and green tea extract. And uh, then I want to go for nachos. I love nachos. Fuck, I love nachos too. Let's do this. Pick me up in 30 minutes. All right. Uh, wait. Don't change that dress, though, because you look amazing. I want you to kiss me. Kara, where's my jacket? Huh? Jacket I left last night, where is it? It was filthy, and I took it to the dry cleaner. No! 
What? It had my nighttime medicine in the pocket. Oh. You mean this? <laughs> you are the best. <laughs> oh. You saved it. Wait till I tell everyone that I am dating a 50-something pothead. Did, did anybody hear that? Karen Hayes has just announced to her bedroom that she is dating me, Phil, a 50-something pothead. That is cause for celebration. <laughs> Ooh. Let me get some of that. Whoa. <laughs> Not only are you dating a 50-something pothead, now you're going to get high? <sighs> Ooh-wee. Light does come at you fast. <laughs> I hate pot. Oh my God. I think I'm having a heart attack. Babe, come lay down. Oh my God, why did I do that? I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse. Why is that legal? I just, oh my God. Well, Illegal. What can I do to make it better? This is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. You see? You're safe. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, I spoke too soon. I don't think anyone has made me a sandwich in like, in like 30 years. I mean, like, well, 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 Ryan tried me to make me a grilled cheese for Mother's Day, but it was, he totally screwed it up. How do you screw up a grilled cheese? It's, it's two ingredients, the bread and the cheese. I will make you a sandwich. Whatever you want. I really like you, Phil. I care about you a lot. In some small, important way. Me too. I'm never going to let you get high again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Karen? <laughs> well, well, well. Hey. Oh. Out of all the outdoor patios in Agora Hills. Wait, oh. Mm. Wait, what are you doing here? I'm having lunch. What do you think I'm doing here? Mom, why is creepy neighbor guy kissing you? I'm so, oh, wait, okay, okay, wait, Phil, this is Ryan, Ryan, this is Phil, Phil, this is, hey, nice to meet you, Phil, uh, your mom never shuts up about you, I, I never shut up about you, are you wearing my jacket, <laughs> babe, I thought you said it was at the cleaners, uh, uh, no, babe, my mom bought this for me at a vintage store, actually, uh, Phil and I have been spending time together, right, and, um, uh, he's right, that is his jacket. Okay, oh my so... God, you lied to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ryan, I'm so sorry. I, I... Ew. Wait, where are you going? Ryan, I'm sorry. Ugh. Hey. Ew, ew, ew. Ryan, honey, where are you going? Ryan. Well, he's spirited. This is not good. He's never gonna forgive me. For what? Having a boyfriend? Oh, he's right. How dare you find happiness? You don't get it. It's, it's always just been the two of us. He's just not used to this. Well, things change. If he's really gonna hold on to a grudge, he's just being an asshole. I cannot believe that you just said that. He's not an asshole, he has CP. So, people with CP can be assholes too. Get out of here, please leave. Oh, come on, come on. 
Let's calm down, all right? Don't tell me to calm down. Please leave. You still mad at me? I'm sorry for freaking out. Well, I have just the remedy for that. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Santa Barbara. <gasps> I love Santa Barbara. <laughs> well, perfect. I rented us a cute little craftsman on Airbnb with a hot tub. We are going to spend the weekend naked, under the stars, drinking wine. It's going to be amazing. Wait, you booked it already? Yeah. Without asking me? You have to ask me, Phil. You can't just... You can't just do that. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> Want to go to San Barbara this weekend? No. I, what if Ryan wants to talk? And I'm like, oh, sorry that I lied to you about having a boyfriend. Now we're going away for the weekend. Bye. So you can go, you just won't go. I, I, I can't do this, Phil. I can't. I, it's too much. I. I, you don't get my life. I'm sorry. Jesus. Me too. Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh, okay. And I, um, I wanted to apologize for... Um, Dumping me? Right. <laughs> I, I realized that I might have been a little... Hasty. <laughs> what is this? Forgiveness Mad Libs? Sorry. I'll let you talk. Actually, that was it. And I'm cooking dinner with Ryan tomorrow, and I uh, sort of like a little birthday party. And I thought maybe that you could join, and, and we could just take it from there. Wow. So did Ryan sign off on a permission slip for you to date me? As a matter of fact, he has. We talked, and he's he's totally on board. Unbelievable. I know. I know. And, uh, well, he's really matured, and uh, he's using that app, uh, headspace, which I think I should try. Look, care. I'm sorry. I don't think I can start this up again. I don't want to be in a relationship with someone else's kid. You know. But happy birthday. Oh, look who it is. Woo, you guys, you two, come here. Tanya, no. Come scoot in. No. Come over here. Scoot in. It's fine. Scoot in. No, no, no. no. Scoot, scoot, scoot. We're okay. Please, oh, please. Scoot, no. scoot, scoot, scoot. That would be great. Scoot. That is so nice of you. Thank you. Come on. Oh, oh <laughs> please. Look, all this room. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Susan said that you spoke to her earlier. I think it's really cool that you were nice to her. Hi. Hi. Can I get you all started with some drinks? I would uh, love a glass of Pinot. No, uh, let's go crazy. I'm going to have a Cadillac Margarita. <gasps> Ooh. Uh huh. Hey, how about a, a pitcher for the whole table, okay? You got it. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I just say something? I just think it is so amazing how Phil and Karen have gone from being neighbors to lovers to friends like this. Really, I mean, I am, I am so impressed. Oh, uh, lovers? He didn't tell me that you guys were um, lovers. Really? Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. So, you two fully dated? Uh, you know, date is such a strong word. Shizzy? I, is it okay if I call you Shizzy? Yes. It, it, it's no big deal. We, we super duper did date, but it, we weren't together for that long. It's a fun fact, actually. He broke up with me because he couldn't handle my son. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, so, wait. You broke up with her because of her son. I really think that this margarita is, is just delicious. The one with cerebral palsy. The kid was an asshole. Oh. So is my daughter an asshole? No, honey. No, 
she's an addict. I think that addicts can be assholes too, but I, I just, I love to hear a childless man's thoughts on raising children. Don't you, Susan? Yeah, right? Hey, just FYI, Phil. So you know, after you very cruelly broke up with Karen, it caused her to have a terrible fight with Ryan, and they stopped speaking. So, <sighs> know that. I, I didn't know. Yes, it's so interesting, really, because you got what you wanted, but you you weren't there to reap the benefits. Phil, yeah. how does it feel to know that you destroyed the bond between a mother and a son? Tanya, stop it. How's that? It's not destroyed. We have a birthday! <laughs> It's my birthday. And then you get, right? I, you know, I think I've had enough. Phil, can you just take me home? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't tell Susan about us because I was trying to protect her feelings. And I'm sorry about what happened between you and Ryan. Hi. Karen. Hi. Listen, my mom just died, and I I don't want to be alone, so... I'm sorry. Oh. Don't hate me for asking, but how are you doing? I don't really know. I get it. When my mom died, everyone assumed I was grieving, and I just felt numb. That's exactly it. I mean, I couldn't believe that I had lost the most important person in my life. You know, my mom, she was this amazing, loving person, mothering came naturally to her. She took care of everything for us. I still don't think anyone will love me as much as my mom did. I know what you mean. 